it's set it's about the cross of Jesus Christ, but rather than just a book about the cross, talking about it as an object, as it were, it's set trying to say that the cross is a lens through which we can look at the rest of life. So that uh, the cross becomes something that shapes the way we look at the world. And so what the book tries to do is to look at a whole series of issues that we face in the ordinary lives that we live, things like weakness and failure, things like reconciliation, ambition, those sorts of issues, and say, well, how, does, how do those things look when viewed in the light of the cross? I've done a lot of study in the past when I did my doctoral study. I did it on the theology of the cross in St. Paul and Martin Luther and Blaise Pascal. And that it helped me to see that the cross was not just a, a sort of mechanism by which God brought about forgiveness or the salvation of the world, but actually it was something that coloured the whole way in which Christian theology works. So actually it shapes the way you look at God, the way you look at us, we look at ourselves, the way we look at the world, the way we look at society. In other words, if the cross happened, if God went to a cross in the, per in the person of his son, Jesus Christ, the world is a different place. And it shapes the whole way we look at our lives, society, the world in which we live. There's a chapter in the book on the cross and reconciliation. And uh, the purpose of that chapter is really to think about some of the things that the New Testament says about how the cross breaks down the barriers between people. And that uh, creates a new way of being human, a new way of being in Christ, where your primary identity is that you're in Christ rather than any other identity. And what that has the possibility of doing is breaking down some of the divisions that divide us between black and white, and rich and poor, male and female, and all these things that somehow split us apart. And that can be equally true for the church as well. Within the church, often we find ourselves quite divided. Mm -hmm. But the more we focus upon the cross as the thing that breaks down the divisions between us, and we find our true identity in the Christ who died for us, the one who creates a new risen life that we can live focused on him, the more we begin to find that we're able to live together with our differences rather than allow them to drive us apart.